speech mechanism paper 305 ea speech is one of the strongest means of communication human beings express ideas feelings and emotions through speech have you ever thought how we human beings produce speech sounds both animals and human beings can produce sounds but animals cannot articulate so they don't have speech whereas human beings can articulate so they have speech and they have created languages let us discuss how speech sounds are produced by human beings a speech event involves a series of complicated operations first of all a linguistic concept a linguistic concept means the meaning a linguistic concept is formulated in the speaker's brain the nervous system transmits the message to different body parts which are engaged in the production process the body parts which are involved in the production of speech sounds are called speech organs so the message is sent to the speech organs the speech organs make certain movements and the speech sounds are produced to go a bit ahead the speech is meant to be heard by someone then what happens with the listener the movements of the speech organs creates disturbances in the air which are called sound waves these sound waves are caught by the speaker listener's ears his nervous system sends the message to his brain and the message is linguistically that is meaning wise linguistically decoded by the brain and the listener understands the meaning but here the condition is that the speaker and the listener should share the same linguistic code both should be communicating in the same language let's see the speech organs the speech organs are divided into three groups each group belongs to a different organ system of the body please note that the speech organs perform other bodily functions also the groups go like this the first group is in the trunk of the body the organs belong to the respiratory system the speech organs are the lungs the bronchial tubes and the windpipe the second group is in the throat the organs belong to the phonatory system and the speech organs are the larynx and the pharynx the third group which belongs to the articulatory system is in the head and the organs are the mouth the lips and the nose now let's discuss the function of these speech organs and the process by which the speech sounds are produced the energy required for the production of speech sounds 
is provided by the lungs in the form of air stream. In other words, the air stream required for the production of speech sounds is released from the lungs. It passes through the windpipe which is also known as trachea. The windpipe is also called the trachea. And the air stream arrives in the larynx. Larynx is also called the voice box. Larynx contains a pair of vocal cords. The vocal cords can be wide open or brought together. That is, they can be drawn apart and brought together. The distance between the vocal cords is called the glottis. With the movement of the vocal cords, the glottis assumes different positions. Number one, open glottis. The vocal cords are drawn wide apart. The glottis is open. The air passes through it without any obstruction. While normal breathing out, the glottis is in this position. Second position is closed glottis. The vocal cords are tightly brought together. The glottis is closed. The air passage is blocked. So the air has to push from behind and then pass through it with a force. While coughing, when we cough, the glottis is in this position. <coughs> Try this. <coughs> the third is narrowing of the glottis. The vocal cords are sufficiently close together. The force of the air stream is cut down and the air passes through it without much force. Whispering sounds are created, are produced in this way. The fourth position that the glottis may assume is glottis in vibration. The vocal cords alternately come together and are drawn wide apart. This rapid movement of vocal cords produces vibration. When the air stream passes through the glottis, vocal cords vibrate and voice is added. Speech sounds may be voiced or voiceless. Sounds like burp, d, g, v are voiced sounds produced with the vibration of the vocal cords. Sounds like p, t, k, are voiceless sounds. From the larynx, the air stream passes through the pharynx and gets modified. And finally, it is released from the mouth or the nose or from both the mouth and the nose. When the air stream is released from the mouth only, the sounds produced are called oral sounds. When it is released from the nose only, the sounds produced are called 
nasal sounds and when it is released from both the mouth and the nose the sounds produced are called nasalized sounds the mouth and the lips the oral cavity that is the mouth the shape of the mouth depends on the position of the tongue and the lips the lips can be wide open closed spiral rounded half rounded and so on within the mouth the parts which are involved in the production of speech sounds are the roof the teeth and the tongue please note that the lower teeth do not participate in the speech mechanism it is only the upper teeth which are involved in the production of speech sounds the roof of the mouth can be divided into three parts beginning from outside towards the inside the first part against the upper teeth is called the alveolar ridge or the teeth ridge the middle part the second the hard portion in the roof you can feel it is called the hard palate the third at the back the softer part is known as the soft palate or the velum the end of the soft palate is known as uvula we discussed the oral sounds nasal sounds nasalized sounds Uh, while talking about the soft palate let's learn that it is the soft palate which is directly connected with the pharynx when the soft palate is raised the nasal cavity gets closed and the air stream is released through the mouth only so to put it in the other way in the production of the oral sounds the soft palate is raised the nasal cavity is closed in the production of nasal sounds the soft palate is lowered the oral cavity gets closed and the air stream is released through the nose now the tongue the tongue can be classified in three sections from outside towards the inside the first part opposite to the alveolar ridge is called the blade the end of it the sharp edge is called the tip the second section just opposite to the hard palate is called the front and the third one opposite the soft palate is called the back the tongue is a flexible organ its various sections make contact with different parts of the roof of the mouth or the upper teeth to produce different speech sounds this is human speech mechanism <laughs>